number one contender. This tournament continues with this semi-final match. Scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, O.K.P. I'll tell you what, at the party tonight, oh, it's going to go down just like that. You know what that is, Ted. I'm telling you what. what? That's, that's the bottle of booze that ODB had earlier tonight on, on oh Impact in, in that interview with Christy oh. Hemme. She's old man. Look at her. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, bring on the mama. She looks like Dave Penzer at the bar. <laughs> he'd, he'd never spill. <laughs> he, he'd, he'd, he'd have somebody come by with a mop and ring it out. You kidding me? by this matchup, just in terms of, of the, the, the physical stature and size of the two competitors here, because so what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out here. Here we go. Here comes ODB to meet Kong on the ramp. It's not often that Kong goes into a match. Taz, where it, it, she does have the size edge, no question, here against ODB. Well, I, I but not as substantial as usual. Absolutely, and I think that ODB did the right thing, even though it didn't work, was try to come right at Awesome Kong, which most most knockouts don't do. And this is our second semi-final match of the New Year's Knockout Eve tournament. We know that Hamada has already advanced to the finals, and she will face the winner of this match. And we'll think of the potential here. If Awesome Kong is victorious against ODB, we would see that newly formed tag team of Hamada going against Kong in the finals. See all that body weight, that massive, gigantic leg of Awesome Kong against the throat of ODB. Not a good way to spend New Year's night, huh? Hardly, and you see ODB quickly rolling in to break the count from the referee and then immediately back to the offense. Yeah, but ODB, I mean, you know, pretty obvious. I mean, after a drinking uh, deal, and it's New Year's, she's probably bombed already here, yeah, so I don't know if she's feeling much pain anyway. Yeah, but we've already seen, do you remember that trailer park throwdown against Tara? I think she's at her best when she's bombed. When is she not? Bombed or at her best? Bombed! Uh oh, speaking of bombs, there's a bomb right there. Awesome Kong. Now in slow, dangerous pursuit of ODB. Oh my God. Oh, a short arm clothesline and then goes back and head first on the concrete. The multiple. Referee, yeah, referee uh, Jamie uh, McGee trying to get. Trying to get both yeah, knockouts. Jamie Tucker. Right. Trying to get both knockouts back in the ring. Successful getting ODB back in. And here comes Awesome Kong. What's that word you used earlier? Stalking? Yes. That's it's exactly just, just part of Kong's repertoire. It is. And that's, you know, that's what makes it so difficult, you know, when this massive, dangerous woman is just hovering over you, pounding on you. To the power game and the big mid ring slam by Kong, who comes off the ropes. Oh my God! Goes oh. airborne, caught nothing but canvas on the way down that time. It's like a submarine almost landing on you, even though they don't fly. <laughs> Quick pin attempt, rolls her over, goes for the cover in just two. Semi final matchup continues. Don't go anywhere. When we return, we'll find out who advances to the finals. Is it going to be ODB or Awesome Kong? And we are back on Impact. This is the continuation of our second semifinal matchup in the ongoing New Year's oh. Knockout Eve tournament. ODB squaring off against Awesome Kong, and ODB just jumps on the back of Kong, and oh! oh! Yes, the winner of this tournament becomes the number one contender for the Knockout Championship, which right now is held by Tara. And we know that Hamada has already advanced to the finals, she will face the winner oh. of this match, either ODB or, or her tag team partner, Kong. And ODB will taking. I saw a movie like that once. SpectreVision. Oh my God. Oof. ODB's got the big old bloomers on. New Year's Eve edition. The New Year's Eve edition of bloomers. No, no, she can't. Now, ODB, hard to knock down the massive ODB. I'm sorry, massive, awesome con. I'm not even drinking yet. Yet. 
Couple of shots in the corner and uh oh. Here comes Cole ODB. Speed ahead. Oh! All the body weight of ODB directed into Kong, and it's not often that you see Awesome Kong in a position like this. Yeah, that's a great point, Mike. Very rarely have we seen Kong down and getting beaten on. That's the former knockout champion right there in ODB. And a former multi-time knockout champion in Awesome Kong. As ODB looks to get back the championship that she oh. lost at final resolution. You want to call this one? Oh, not really. That's, How do you like that? Ah. I don't know. That's kind of hard to explain here on television. Well, not really. <laughs> it's the old uh, Bronco Muncher slash Carpet Buster. Gonna Check. pull her back into the ring and try and get the legs up and try and go for the cover. But the, just the size there of Kong, what an example that is of how difficult it is to get the pin on Kong. Yeah, I think Kong. Awesome Kong is starting to get a little mad. And if Kong is able to mount some sort of a comeback, ODB might be done and out of this tournament. Whoa. Oh, no way. No way. Not a good idea. Oh, got on top oh. of the slam attempt by ODB. Uh, I think that was a mistake by ODB. She should not have went to attempt a slam like that. Oh, uh-oh. Goozle City here. I think Kong's done playing games. But ODB able to fight back. Blocks that possible choke slam attempt. Oh, oh that clothesline. I think the momentum just got, got a ODB back to her feet again. That's how hard she got hit. Probably a good idea that ODB had that booze before she came into this match. Maybe uh -oh. a little painkiller here for us. Whoa. Bam, 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 bam. Back oh. it up. Backs up the truck right into ODB in the corner. That's a lot of rear end in one's face, I'm telling you. <laughs> that, that was the reverse beep I heard, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, look at this now. ODB able to counter out of that. Yeah, maybe just the weight of ODB, the momentum as she went flying over the top, saved her there. Kong continues the offensive. To the corner goes ODB. Oh, referee gets pulled directly in front. Blasted That's a near 300 pound Kong. Oh, watch that. ODB has that bottle, that empty bottle in hand, and unbeknownst to Awesome Kong, and the referee is down. Look out, and it, oh, God, oh, no, man, oh, smashed the glass bottle right over the head of Kong, and knocked her out and gets the pin. I think the referee was almost a little out of it himself. Because he, I don't know how he didn't see those chunks of glass in front of him, but ODB is knocked out cold. I'm sorry, Kong is knocked out cold, and ODB advances. Looks like a looks like a car wreck in the six-sided ring with the glass all around. Win in the semifinals moves her on for a chance to face Hamada tonight in the finals of the New Year's Knockout Eve tournament.